In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get more special orders so that you can get more SSR weapons. Those are the legendary golden weapons, much like this one right over here. Tower of Fantasy gives you many opportunities to earn the currency that you use to use on these special orders so that you can try and unlock a new amazing weapon. And these SSR weapons are amazing. So you go to the top right menu over here and you go to the button where it says special orders. This is where you're gonna be unlocking or doing your like orders to try and get special things. So you're gonna use like these special currencies over here. This is a gold nucleus. You also have tabs on the left. They, more of these tabs unlock as you play. You get the red nucleus to get like a chance at earning this weapon over here, for example. And and if you go back to the weapons choice here and you see the bottom right, there is like a purple section for the black nucleus cache. Now black nucleuses are probably the, the easiest to get in the game and I'm gonna show you many ways that you can farm these nucleuses so that you can try your luck at getting some SSR weapons. Now the main way that you're going to be getting this is actually just from exploring the world. You'll see various things like this over here when you see these tentacles the, like in the ground here and you throw a blue like ball into it, it will actually pop out a black nucleus and then you just go pick it up. That's how you collect one of them. That is a free special order right there. There's many of these hidden across the world, such as these dandelion things over here with the three dandelions. You can actually pick this one up here. You can shoot the one at the top here. You are gonna need a bow for this. I don't know if any other weapons can do this, maybe the guns, but you'll see one of these over here, when you shoot them, actually drops a black nucleus as well. And then you get the fire version ones here. There's this one and there's a plant one that has this tar over it. If you see anything with this black tar over it, you need to shoot it with a fire weapon so that you can like melt the tar so that you can collect the nucleus inside. You can also occasionally get gold nucleuses as well. What you're actually looking for, for each of these different things that I've shown you, they actually show up as these icons on the map. So as you're walking around them, you'll see them all over the map near you, much like this dandelion one over here, which shows on my map as that little white icon. And if you explore the map quite thoroughly, just the first starting area quite thoroughly, you're able to get a ton, a ton of these different nucleuses. Check how much I have right now. If I go here, I've got 12 of the gold nucleuses. And if I swap over to my black nucleuses, you can see I have 35 of them, 35 of them. It's super easy to get these special orders just by exploring the open world and you know getting these objectives done. It's it's actually really, really easy. However, the drop chances seem really low as well. So though you're getting more orders, the, the chances of you getting an SSR weapon are extremely difficult. I must say that once you actually do get an SSR based weapon, you will feel it. They do so much more damage than any of your other weapons and are just a lot more beneficial than a purple or a blue type weapon, which are just R and SR in comparison. You really want those SSR weapons as much as you can get, at least three of them to fill out your main, like, you know, character combo decks. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you do have any questions, leave them down in the comments down below. I do reply to every single one and I'll see you guys in a future video. Thank you so much for watching.